Well, I've noticed that the um, the alignment's all messed up, but they the car was stolen and they messed up. They hit a brick wall of sorts and kind of jammed stuff up. You can see stuff's a little misproportionate, not aligned anymore. But it looked like all the frame damage, any frame damage was confined to the passenger side because that's where they hit everything and you can actually see the radiator core support was pushed back so I didn't think anything of the driver's side but I jacked it up again the other day and it's looking under it because the alignment's off so bad right now but it actually this wheel is pushed back 7 16 of an inch and the way I found that out was just measuring from the back wheel center to the front wheel center on each side. And this wheel is pushed back 7 16 of an inch. So they hit something extremely hard just on the, on the wheel itself and it pushed the A-frame mount right there. They pushed, it pushed that back. This shouldn't be such a deep valley. And this is actually kinked up and bent all in here so what I'm going to do is first disable the airbags but then tie a chain to the to the A-frame and back up a couple times give her some good jerks get it back into alignment straighten it out see what we can do little redneck backyard mechanic frame straightening first thing to disable the airbags because I want to be able to drive the car. Typically, you just remove the negative battery terminal, let it sit, deal with it. But I'm going to remove the fuse. Some cars have two strap around a huge tree. The recovery strap will protect the tree. Tie it down as low as possible. I mean, it has to be a three foot diameter by two foot diameter trunk. Stretch it along. Hook it to your chain, and then you hook the chain under the frame of the car where you want to pull it back out. So, we're going to give that a go. I just hook the the middle of the rim, the very back. The rim, I just hook the tape measure. I measure to the back of the other rim, and that gives the exact center. And I come up with 97 and 15 sixteenths, just a shy 98. And that's the one I pulled out. The driver's side, that on the driver's side, this is the passenger side. Same thing. Hook the tape measure right at the very back. And I end up with 98. So about a sixteenth of inch, a sixteenth of an inch off, which within specs, the car drives straight now. Um, Problem is, you can never get, uh, once you bend a piece of metal, it's virtually impossible to get it perfectly straight again. I can still jack it up and hammer underneath, try to hammer it straight. 